welcome back to the channel my name is Jay and this is Jay Vape and today's product is the dot stick by dot mod and this is how the package will look like so inside of it once you open it all right so first thing you're gonna see the tube mod and the 18 650 tube extension let's remove this and let's check also what's in the box so you'll get this you will get a bag that has an extra uh, an extra coil i think let me check yes so you'll get some extra o-rings you will get an empty l drip tip and you'll get an extra coil which is stainless steel 316 mesh one ohm coil all right what else do we have inside so we have a micro usb and the user manual now let's check the pod itself so this is the device it's a 22 millimeter diameters so you'll have the tank you'll have the mod now it's in in 18350 mod so what you want to do if you want to use it as an 18650 you grab this you remove the bottom uh, what are we call it we're gonna call it the bottom cap and then you get this you install it like that and now you have an 18650 tube mod now I prefer it in 18350 so let's put a battery inside of it I'm going to use the vape only 18350 battery and first let me show you before we do that let me show you the inside here I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it it's all gold all right so I'll tell you exactly let me zoom hold on so if we zoom will we have, will we have a focus please yes so battery negative side here designed by dot mode in california made in china so let's put it all right threading are good not bad at all it did give us some light first thing i notice which is really good which is here you have you can charge it although i don't advise you to charge the battery inside the the mod but still if you're on the run and you want to charge it you can do that by using any micro usb so it's a 22 millimeter you can use the uh, pod that it's provided or if you want to use like you have a 22 millimeter rda or an rta this will fit perfectly all right so five clicks on one two three four five now it's off one two three four five now it's on now to check the battery you just click one time it's a green so green is between 61 to 100 uh, blue I think is uh, 21 to 60 and red is 20 or is, or is 1 to 20 percent so let me show you the states here we'll also check the state for the coils focus all right so here's the battery state and here are the notifications as well same as any dot mod and this is here for the changing for the power level now in order to do so you have to click three times here so focus one two three now you have white which is bypass you click one more time red which is 20 watt uh one more one more time so red 20 watt you go to blue 24 or you go to 27 so if you're using an RDA or an RTA, one, two, three, go to bypass. Now, it all depends on the coil as it's mentioned here. So if you're using the 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 ohm, if you have the red light, it will be 20. While if you're using the 0 0.7, it's gonna be 10. And if you wanna use the included uh, one ohm coil, if you choose the red color, it will be 10 watts. If you went to, for example, the green color, it will be 12 watts. So here you have all the stats in the manual. Let me show you the tank itself. First, let me remove the RDA. It's a very, 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 very tiny mod. And this is 
the tank that they provide us where's the focus guys come on all right so uh, you have a 510 drip tip hopefully i'll be able to remove it somehow come on it's really tight all right so we're keeping it but but, <laughs> but it's removable you can let me try one more time ah it's really hard to remove it now to in order to fill it this is the bottom of it in order to fill it you have to press down like so quarter turn and you can open it all right so in order to remove the coil all you have to do is this and this is the coil and I don't know why but it looks I think we can also use the north coil inside now how to fill it it's very simple actually let me show you <clears throat> do you see this this part here where's the focus come on do you see this part here it's exactly this so what you do is you put your juice inside and once you press do you see how it opens on the inside then you press it and then you fill your juice and once you're done make sure first that your coal is inside once you're done all you have to do is just put it turn it till you hit the click and now it's fixed and what you have here also you have airflow controller so you can use it as an MTL or an RDL and it will have both sided airflow so whatever you do here is going to be done also on the other side now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fill it with juice and then I'm gonna come up I'm gonna vape on it and I'm going to give you my thoughts on the dot stick by dot mod all right so back on top with the dot stick by dot mod i'm using the 0.4 on coil i'm using the melon twist by dinner lady and i'm using only three holes of the airflow and i'm using it on the blue setting which is 24 watts so let me have a look Beautiful flavor. Beautiful flavor, especially that I'm used to that juice and I know exactly how it tastes. Now, vapor production also is good. I love the shape and the compactness of it. I, I actually love the gold thing in it. Some of you might hate it, but I really like it. All right, so today's product is provided by Triple A Vape, I'm gonna leave the logo here, Mr. Ahmed Ayaz, the, the channel friend, and he is one of the best vape uh, shops in Lebanon. If you're in Lebanon, if, you, if you're thinking of buying anything related to vape, he is your guy. So let me do some pros and cons. Now I'm gonna say two things that most of you might consider it as a con. First, it is a bottom fill, it's not a top fill. So in order to fill it, you have to hold the bottom part, press, and then remove it and there's like a valve inside of here where you can just put your juice bottle push inside and then pour your juice inside of it and when you remove the the bottom uh, the uh, the juice bottle that valve will close and it will not leak at all from that it will not leak from that so some of you might consider it a, a con is there any possibility to do it from the top filling from the top with this shape there's no way all right that's one Two, uh, some of you might consider that having a micro USB in it and not a uh, USB-C. Well, I'm gonna be very honest. I'm so thank thankful that it has even a USB to charge it. Because on the fly, if I'm going somewhere and my battery is dead, I don't have my external charger, so I need to charge it. I can really easily charge it. Although I still advise everyone if you have a replaceable battery, it's better to charge it on an external charger. Now these two, you might consider it as a con to me, it's not a con at all. What I'm using is, I'm using the Kizuku uh, tube mod. This one doesn't have a USB to charge it, so you are forced to remove the battery and charge it on an external charger. If you didn't see the review for the Kizuku mod, I'm gonna leave it for you here to check it. Now, the con that I really see is leaking not from the juice port the juice the filling port but from the coil itself i'm gonna try to show you here 
if it focus turn it to the light you might see some juice on here so yeah I'm having some leaking issues but that is not from the juice board and I can assure that for you all right this is actually the only con that I have that it's uh, leaking from the coil itself now as an MTL vapor I hate buying coils and what I prefer is the uh, RBA section and if you did some research google it you'll find here I'm gonna leave the name of the company here you can find an RBA from a company called Rewape uh, and this is compatible with the uh, Nord coils so you have an RBA for it or you can use the Nord coils now let's go to pros first pro is gonna be it's optional 18350 and if you don't like 18350 you, 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 you like 18650 you can easily put the attachment and use it as an 18650 that's first two you have the uh, dry hit protection you can turn it on you can turn it off three you have three different voltage 20 24 and 27 and you have also bypass why bypass if you're using an RDA on an, or an RTA on top of it you can just put it on bypass and use it the way you want so you have all these pros and just one cone which is leaking from the coil and there is a solution for it you can buy the RBA now I don't know anything about the RBA I didn't buy it yet but I'll buy it and I'm gonna review it by itself now what I want to show you also how beautiful it will look with a 22 millimeter RTA and the RTA that I'm using on top of it is the Vertex by Hellvape. This will be reviewed soon on the channel. I have high hopes for it because it resembles a lot the uh, Berserker V2 Mini, which is this. And it's my, in my opinion, this is the best MTL RTA ever. If you didn't see it, I'm gonna leave the link here for you also to check. So, you have all these pros. You have only one con which is leaking from the coil and I don't know probably that coil is, is not good if you use another I didn't use another coil to be honest so that's it I am in love with what I'm having between my hands and let me have another way beautiful so much now that was everything for the Dot stick by dot mod and I'll see you on the next review.